Welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4 Part 144. And go into the used car showroom to buy a car for this segment. Just scroll down here, and this is what I'm gonna buy. I said I thought we were done with the really slow cars. That's halfway true. We're done with the really slow cars, but we're not done with the slow cars. I'm gonna buy the Suzuki Cappuccino. Because uh, we're going to Suzuki, which means we're staying in Japan, like I somewhat predicted. I don't fucking know. But, got that. So, uh, let's perform the usual maintenance, since it is a used car and all that. So, uh, jump cut. Alright, oil has been changed, so let's go racing. Didn't bother to wash it, because I don't care. It's not like it's, this is gonna be a fucking aero-sensitive, uh, race. Series. So here we go, the Suzuki K-Car Cup, limited to all well, the really small shitting fucking K-Car kit fuck. So, MR Wagon, Alto Works Cars, Wagon RRR, the Cappuccinos, and all that shit. And three single races, starting with Autumn Ring Mini, so here we go. Alright, here we go. I picked the Cappuccino mostly because, well one, it was really inexpensive since it was used, and two, it's the smaller car, so it's probably lighter, more nimble. 25 ace back points. This is gonna be a fucking easy one. Alright. So, yeah, since it's just a little compact car, not a wagon, I figured it'd be lighter and uh, easier or faster in that way. Fuck. So, yeah. That's my choice. I'm sticking to it. So here we go. Four laps around Autumn Ring Mini. Reverse. Man, those wagons are fucking tall. I would hate to drive one of those because of just the high fucking center of gravity. Like, I'd be scared just to even barely move the steering wheel because I'd be afraid to flip it over. Oh, shit. Okay, this is not proving to be so easy as the uh, points, a spec points suggested. At least not yet. Again, this is a four lap race and I'm on the podium off the first lap, so maybe I'm just a bitch. Actually, I am a bitch, but still. These cars, these wagons are just so fucking tall, especially compared to this little ass cappuccino. Especially the fucking wagon RRR. R -R. Just holy fuck. Okay, yeah, this is definitely gonna be easy. I'm just being a bitch. I like how it has a little spoiler halfway down the. like halfway down the fucking uh, rear window. Totally not intrusive at all. Thank you. Apparently I took that very slowly. You know, I've never been in the pit lane here in the mini course. Actually, in either Autumn Ring course. I don't care to find out right now. And I probably never will, really. Knowing me. Like, I'm curious now, but I'm sure I'll forget about it. Soon. Damn it, took that too fast. No, get out of the grass. At least this thing goes faster than fucking 50 miles per hour. Goddamn Subaru 360. Yoink. Oh shit, big slides. Lost a lot of speed through that. But I'm kind of way the fuck ahead, so. Yeah.
down and up and up and down and down up 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 down up and the down up yeah what what the fuck am I even saying I don't even know I win the first race that's all I know by how much 7.8 seconds all right And the other cappuccino managed to gain a position and finish on the podium. Cool. And that is a truck outside. Hopefully that's not bleeding into the mic. Wow, 5,000 credits for this. That's really surprising, actually. I just paid back my cappuccino, basically. So uh, it's race two. And our second of three races is at Sakuba for three laps. So here we go. Have to face two cappuccinos in this race. Ooh. Man, points are up to 32. I don't know if I can do this. Uh... Right, anyways. So, three laps around Sukuba. Here we go. We tried to do a little aggressive run into the first turn. Almost didn't work out. God damn it, that thing is tall. It's so tall. I will never get over how tall that fucking wagon is. Like, it's tall and skinny. That's gotta be... I, I know I said this at the ring, bottom ring, but it's gotta be the biggest nightmare to fucking drive. Just, uh... Smack. All right. Well, work my way up to third. Just gotta pass the other cappuccino and whatever the hell is up in front of that. Oh, he's going for the lead. He's really going for the lead. I'm thinking one of my moves. Push him out of the way. Hey, now. Alright, Battle of the Cappuccinos for the lead. And I've got the advantage. And there we go. Just like that. Pin. That was actually pretty nice. Kept it right on the bottom, decent speed. A little slow, but decent speed. Alright, one lap to go at Sukuba. Pulled out three and a half second lead already. Clearly, I shouldn't have even changed the oil uh, to make this fucking difficult, but no. Although I should have expected that with by picking this car this would have been easy. But whatever. What's done is done and I didn't want to use a fucking wagon. Also this was the least expensive choice. So yeah. There 
go off the final turn victory at Sakuba. And it's a kid cappuccino one two three. All right. Fantastic. And the wagon does not. The wagon R R R R R R R does not make it to the finish. I'm still really surprised that it's giving me 5,000 for these races, like, fuck. So let's go to the finale. And our last race is four laps around the Motorland, with three cappuccinos and three altos. So here we go. Four lap showdown. Of e easiness, of course. At least they, they won't have to deal with any shenanigans of almost pitting each and every fucking lap, since we're not doing the reverse course. Here we go. Already trying to make a move past the first alto. Three wide. Let's make a fucking alto sandwich with the cappuccino bread. God damn it, that sounds weird. Oh, going wide a little bit. Thank you, I'll take third place. This is fucking easy. I was not expecting this to be this easy, but goddamn. I'm already in the lead. Alright, well. Three laps to go. See how the other cappuccinos do if they make their way onto the podium. Which I'm sure they will, but still. That was really dumb. It's kind of fucking the car back and forth. Oh, instead, they're fighting each other for fourth place. Okay. That's not how you make progress. Oh, shit. Two to go at the Motorland. And in the Suzuki K Car Cup <clears throat> as well. I love how I finish statements like 10 15 seconds after I start them. Or pause, you know. I am the greatest at brain, speak, mouth, yes. Final lap, here we go. That was a big slide. Looks like the other two cappuccinos are still going at it for fourth place. I think. I'm not sure. Oh shit, off in the dirt. It's like we have a three-way fight for second. Meanwhile, I'm just way up here and uh, winning this race. There we go, victory. So this was another easy series, and one of the cappuccinos made it onto the podium. I guess there's that. Ended up winning by 11 seconds almost, goddamn.
So another 5,000 credits for winning the last race in the Suzuki K-Car Cup. And I'll get a prize car. And I will not be surprised if this is just a random ass K-Car. Oh hey, it's the Concept S2. Alright. I think that's considered a K-Car. Like, as far as this game is concerned, I'm not really sure. I don't know. Hey, I'll be able to use it in the next series, because the next series has to do with concepts, alright. And it looked very concepty, so. Let's just get a closer look at this. By closer, I mean better. Or longer. Fucking shit. Yeah, Concept S2. Has concept in the name, of course I can use it. Bam. Barcelona Orange Pearl. Specific. So we have that, and we'll probably most likely use it in the next segment, so stay tuned for more racing in GT4, yeah.